Up to their own 48 now, Mountain Crest. They'll hand it off to Butters again. Same play to the right side. Hurdles one. Comes down over the linebacker with the first down, five yards. And, and here comes the flag for flag. it. Could be a personal foul. I think they're going to call him for hurdling. Now, and this is my biggest complaint about that, um, that rule. They say no hurdling in high school, but... It is safer to hurdle than have somebody take your knees out, which is exactly what you're avoiding. That, in my opinion, and after coaching for several years, that rule has got to be changed. It is much safer to hurdle a guy than having a guy just let this well, guy take your knees like out. That's stupid. It seems but. like the definition of hurdling changes from crew to crew, if not official to official. Because oh, yeah. I've seen something that I would consider a hurdle let go a few times. Right. Where right. this one, I said hurdle, but I mean, it really wasn't a, it was more of a, a, a leap. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't, I guess he wasn't, he was in stride. It wasn't, yeah. it wasn't like he led up to it. He was, he just kind of adjusted in stride. It wasn't that high of a jump. No, nope, it wasn't. And, and like you say, it was, uh, yeah, and that's what they're going to call Personal foul, hurdling, which I don't know. Maybe that wasn't what they called. I I don't know what the signal would well, be. We'll for see what the the downs marker will stay because if it does stay, it's probably a hurdle. If it wasn't, then it would be you know an unsportsmanlike. Penalty. Yeah, it looks like it's 15 yards, so it's it's probably unsportsmanlike. Well, but they're staying with third down, so that's why I think yeah. it, I think it's a hurdle. Maybe it is. Hello, football fans. Ryan here. Yes, we'll be talking about whether or not there was a hurdle on this play, and we'll be talking about the foul known as hurdling. But if I may, I'd like to start by talking about hurdles. Hurdles the clown. That's my clown persona. I'm available for parties, corporate events, and Coachella. Hurdles makes funny bones curdle. Just use the QR code below. The announcers may be right. Wow, I've never said that before. There is no specific signal for hurdling other than the personal foul signal, so this may just be a generic personal foul. Of course, that would make for a boring video, so we're going to assume the crew called hurdling. What is hurdling? According to the definition found in the NFHS rulebook in Rule 2, Section 22, hurdling is an attempt by a player to jump, hurdle, with one or both feet or knees foremost over an opponent who is contacting the ground with no part of his body except one or both feet. The penalty for hurdling is 15 yards. I think the rule is meant to protect both the hurdler and the hurdlee. Kids see pro and college players hurdle opponents and they think they can do it too. Some can, but most can't. They try, they fail miserably, and possibly hurt themselves and or their opponents. I'm really excited to hear what you think of this call. I'll be honest, I'm torn. I've seen this play a bazillion times. I've lived with it. I've thought about it. I've taken it out to dinner and treated it to a Broadway show, and I'm still not 100% sure. The ball carrier jumps over this player. Technically, at some point during the hurdle, this player may be contacting the ground with no part of his body except one or both feet. Nonetheless, the player is coming in low, and this is happening really fast. So I think if this was the only opponent involved, we wouldn't be discussing this play because we'd have nothing. We'd have no foul. I think the hurdling foul comes via the action with the second player. The rule says nothing about hurdling only involving just one opponent. You can hurdle multiple opponents. As you can see, and granted it's a freeze frame, the player has one knee foremost, while the opponent is contacting the ground with no part of his body except one or both feet. Contact with the opponent forces the ball carry to take an awkward tumble to the turf. Basically, when you have anything foremost, you're running the risk of injury. Foremost isn't good. You don't want things foremost. I try very hard to keep all my stuff from being foremost. The flag comes from perhaps the official who is the farthest away, which doesn't help the case I'm about to make, but the crew gets together, has a long discussion, and rules in favor of hurdling. After a lot of views, a lot of thinking, and a lot of cups of Maxwell House International Coffee, I think this is hurdling. Plus, hurdling is a safety issue, so I'm going to err on the side of calling the foul. With that being said, I don't want to use that sentiment as a crutch. I mean, if we're always going to err on the side of safety fouls, then why even talk about them? Well, I think it's important to discuss these types of fouls so when we're on the field and they happen, 
we're better prepared to rule on them and better prepared to discuss them with players and coaches. What about discussing hurdling with announcers? Well, that might be easier said than done. They say no hurdling in high school, but it is safer to hurdle than have somebody take your knees out, which is exactly what you're avoiding. That, in my opinion, and after coaching for several years, that rule has got to be changed. It is much safer to hurdle a guy than having a guy just let this well, guy take your knees like out. That's stupid. Okay, that's a good point. But what about the ball carrier just moving to the left or to the right? It's like the definition of hurdling changes from crew to crew, if not official to official. Because oh, yeah. Now, that is a valid criticism, and it's why we're discussing hurdling in this video. What do you think? Is this a hurdle? Do you like the flag? Do you not like the flag? What is your threshold for hurdling? Please put your wisdom, insights, and experiences in the comments section below. We want to hear from you, so join the discussion and tell us what you think. By the way, for a few dollars extra, hurdles can bring along Pile on the Python. Kids love them and he seldom ever escapes. If you're already a high school football official, have a great season. If you're not a high school football official, now is the perfect time to become one. Contact the Evergreen Football Officials Association and we'll help you make it happen. Until next time, we're the EFOA, making good officials better.